Hi, my name's Emily Edison. I'm a sports dietitian. I work with the WIN Forum, which is the Washington Interscholastic Nutrition Forum. This is um, an online website that coaches, students, parents can go to. It's the winforum.org. The one that I want to um, I want to really hit home is energy drinks. Sugar-free doesn't make any sense to me because most of the energy comes from the sugar, right? So why would you pay three dollars and fifty cents for one of these that has no, you know, no sugar in it? But if you talk to your athletes about how much sugar is in there, there's about eight packets of straight up white sugar. How many people would dump this in their mouth, just open them up and go, oh, it's so good? Nobody, right? But a lot of people would drink these. Yeah. So same thing, a smaller can, five packets of sugar. And the problem with that is not as much the sugar, because the athletes do need the carbohydrates, but the concentration of sugar in an, um, an energy drink as compared to a sports drink is about three times as much. So what happens from a blood sugar perspective is that the blood sugar level goes up, elevated very quickly, and then what? Crash. You got it. And we don't have any way of anticipating when that crash is going to occur. It's probably going to occur when we're about ready to score the winning goal. So, so those are the things I want you to really point out to your athletes. The, the sugar concentration is extremely high, really putting athletes at risk for crash. They're very expensive. I'd rather have you invest your $3.50 in a healthy sandwich or something like that. And then the, they are not regulated. 